So we have good news and bad news. The good news is that we're able to cast our Vol of Lightning at a safe distance without having to worry about mana. But the bad news is that we had to sacrifice a good chunk of damage for it. I have uh, equipped both the umbral and recharging aspects on the rings. To make matters worse, I also removed my disobedience on my amulet and got the stable aspect. All for the sake of getting mana from a safe distance. Because tomorrow they'll be releasing a new amulet the tall rasha amulet is coming out tomorrow so we're gonna have to sacrifice one of the rings by the way i think there's a new glyph come with it as well not really sure so that's why we're doing the experiment Oh, one more thing is that we purchased the Enchantment Master which cost us uh, 15 Paragon Points, by the way. The Enchantment Master, if you're wondering, it brings the free casts of Chain Lightning from 100 mana to around 86, I believe. So that's that. So we're gonna be removing one of the rings and hopefully still be able to play ranged when the tall rush ring comes up. After we get it, of course, hopefully we get it. Unfortunately, I don't have any Shaco yet, but I'm quite happy with the God Slayer helm. It does a ridiculous damage. The only downside is that it has a 12 second uh, cooldown. At burst, I think it's much stronger than the Shaco, but at the expense of the 12 second burst. And of course, you get lots of damage reduction from the Shaco. By the way, removing the disobedience brings our armor down to around 7200. It was, I believe, around uh, 11,000 when I had it on the amulet. I might change it around, not sure yet. But for now, this is what we're working on. Still have damage, but I, I kind of miss being tanky though. Those quill rats, when they shoot and you don't have disobedience, you die immediately. We're okay on the damage reduction side. We have a very, I made a very good uh, paragon board. I can show you real quick. The damage reduction from chilled. From, this is all from the Paragon, I got 44.8% and around 40% from damage versus vulnerable enemies. This is just because, this is just from the Paragon board. Which is insanely good. See, damage is still good. Hopefully, we should be able to play eye shards once the new glyphs for the core skills comes up. I'm not sure if it's coming in tomorrow, but we'll see. Got some bad guys coming in from the north. See our mana? We're okay. As long as there's mobs around, the umbrella aspect takes care of it and damage is not a problem as long as we get to meet the elites once our god slayer helm is available 
outside the cooldown that is I'm not sure if I should make a guide on this one yet since there's gonna be uh, quite a few changes coming in new uh, new glyphs and what have you just showing you guys what I'm working on right now if you're interested uh, you might consider hitting that sub button by the way <laughs> 